Welcome back, folks, for a new episode of Leaked. And today we'll cover the buffs to the Panther 2 and the Type 4 and Type 5 on the Super Test server. So these vehicles are somewhat mediocre, especially the Panther 2. But with the HD remodel of this tank, it becomes a lot more viable to its strengths. It's basically a sniping medium tank, but not that good with the penetration. So with the HD remodel of this tank, yeah, it's pretty good now. So we'll talk about the stats, but mainly I want to focus on the HD remodel buffs and the trending of buffing previous standard def underpower vehicles. So with the future HD remodels of the standard def vehicles left in the game, we could see a heavy buff for those vehicles. So stuff like the T44, the T34-2, the T25-2. So these tanks, yeah, they could use a heavy buff. So predicting the future is always fun, but here is the Panther 2. So as you can see, the Panther 2 is basically a Tiger 1 for a medium tank at tier 8. It does have a little bit better mobility, but has less DPM and the gun's pretty much the same. So yeah, it's a sniping medium tank without the penetration. So compare it to tanks like the Centurion, the STA, or the Mutz, or the Indian Panzer. Yeah, the penetration is average, mediocre. And the accuracy is okay, but it's not characteristic. The very good accuracy of German tank. So it doesn't really fit well compared to its successor, the E50, with 0.288 accuracy. Also the aim time is kinda long. 2.6 seconds for 88mm at tier 8. That's kinda long. So meh. yeah, mediocre average mobility as well as the penetration and accuracy does not fit well for a sniping medium tank. But here is the super test version. So they basically give this vehicle the 88mm L100 from the E50. You do not play with that gun on the E50, but giving this gun to the Panther 2 means that this tank does get buffed, as well as the grind for the E50. Because the E50 grinding the 88mm L71 for the 105mm is super rough, but having this gun unlocked on the tier 8 version means that grinding for the 105mm on the E50 is a lot simpler than rather using the L71. Yeah, because that's nightmare for the stock version of E50s. So yeah, this gun is very good. Penetration wise, 223 millimeter. So that's the high end side of tier eight medium tanks penetration. Alpha is still the same, so eh. But the DPM is slightly above average, so it's not as crippling to switch out for a longer barrel gun. Accuracy is very good, 0.288, and aim time is 2.11 seconds. So this gun is very good sniping gun for a tier eight medium tank. Mobility has not been changed. Deal range is the same. Health is the same, armor is the same. So yeah, they basically buffed this tank by giving it a better gun. So you do not use this gun on the E50. It's a long barrel very long barrel gun and it looks like the Pinocchio 75mm on the Panther tank so the 75mm L100 but yeah you have to play with this thing for the tier 9 version that would be great I mean you do not use this gun on the E50 nobody in their right mind would use this gun unlock this gun first then unlocking the 105mm because why would you the 105mm has better alpha, better accuracy, better aim time, or I think it's the same accuracy, but better aim time. Yeah, better, way better aim time, and way better DPM. So, even, yeah, better DPM, better alpha, better aim time, yeah. Why would you not use the 105mm? You'll be insane. <laughs> also, it's not as heavy as the 88mm. <laughs> So it gives you better horsepower per ton ratio. So nobody used this gun, but having the, or this gun, nobody used this gun on the E50, but having this gun unlocked on the Panther tank, Panther 2, means that the grind, the stock grind on the E50 
is a lot simpler. So it's a buff to the Panther II, as well as the E50 itself. So, yeah, I love it. This is great. So, yeah, the HD remodel of this tank means that the armor also gets changed. So, as you can see, we do have a weak spot for the bow machine gun in the front. So, for the radio operator. So, this gets removed. The mantlet does get shifted a little bit, but you do not normally rely on the mantlet to bounce shots. So, you're not supposed to get hit with the Panther II. It's not a brawling medium tank like the T44 or the Type 59 or the T34-2. It's not a brawling medium tank. So you're not supposed to go circle strafing or do the fancy stuff. So armor wise did not get changed that much. The cupola did get changed a little bit, nerfed, but you're not supposed to shoot the cupola. Just shoot the frontal hull. You'll penetrate. So yeah, armor is whatever, but it's a gun. So as you can see, the mantlet also gets a little bit changed. So not as thick, but there may be under... Nah, I doubt it. There's no armor underneath, so you do get penetrated, but you're not supposed to get shot. So overall, it's a buff, in my opinion, because the gun, mostly the gun. The mobility did not get changed, so what's not to like? Here is the Type 4. So the main changes to this vehicle is the armor. So take a note of the armor on here. And here is the new armor. So frontal plate gets buffed by 10 millimeter. I think the side armor also gets buffed, but I cannot read Russian. So just trust me, the armor does get buffed almost all the way around. Also, it receives a 150 millimeter gigantic derp gun. So it does fire the normal high explosive with 1000 alpha but only 40 millimeter of penetration. So if you do hit something like a Waffentrager or Romtel Borsig, eh, <laughs> it's gonna hurt. Also, I think this is the gold high explosive shell. It would be rather weird that you have two normal high explosive, one with better alpha. So this is not armor warfare where different, you know, shells with different penetration and alpha based on credits so this is likely gold shell gold high explosive with 1300 alpha so they could go up to 1650 based on the rng but its average is 1300 so it's a pretty big high explosive shell and based on previous 150 millimeters rounds yeah, reloads every 23 seconds so 24 seconds so I mean it's not as the fast firing previous 150 millimeter 149.1 I think that's on the OI that's on the Oni and the OHO so it doesn't fire as fast but it's a gigantic derp shell so the main reason for this gun is likely the gold high explosive but you would just normally use the 140 millimeter so it's a fun gun but it's like the FE 25B 183 with the Hess shell. So if you want to use the gold, that would be the gun. Doesn't have the penetration though, but 100 or 1,300 alpha is pretty, <laughs> pretty nasty. So here is the armor of the Type 4. So here you can see the frontal plate. And here is the buff. So buffed by about 10 millimeter, which is still pretty huge. So yeah. You need a little bit more gold shell for this thing. Also, the side armor probably gets buffed if you can read the Russian. So, yeah, I think the side armor also gets buffed. It's 170 compared to 140. So, it's, yeah, thicker. A lot thicker. <laughs> Buffing the crap out of this tank with space side armor. Yeah, sure, why not? So, here is the Type 5. As you can see, it also gets an uh, armor buff. So here is the normal version, but here is the super test version. It also gets the 150 millimeter dub gun with the gigantic high explosive shell. The frontal plate also gets buffed by 20 millimeter, so that's pretty huge. And side armor is 180. <laughs> 180 side armor? Wow, but 
It still used the gigantic derp gun, reloads every 22.5 seconds compared to, was it 22.4 or 24, I don't remember, whatever, but still takes a long time to reload and the DPM is not as good. So just use the 140, but it's mostly about the armor buff. So here is the normal version, but here is the super test version. So the main difference is the armor plating, the thickness, but also the cheeks. The cheeks were a little bit less strong as the frontal plate. So these were buffed. So this right here, the sponsons or the track support, whatever this plate is called. So the cheeks and the track support, as well as this plate, also gets buffed to normal plate strength. So this is a lot thicker and this is more uniform. So needs more gold chill. And here is the side armor. So 140 gets buffed to 160 and probably 180 right here. So this is 180 between the tracks. Yeah. So that's pretty insane. Now I want to talk about the buffs to the HD remodels. So a lot of the HD remodels bring a significant buff for the standard death vehicles. So tanks like the T110 E5, the M103, the Conqueror, the IS-6, the 112, the Super Pershing, the prototype, the T28 prototype, the Panzer 34, the KV-3 with a turret buff, the KV-5 with the armor buff, and the IS-4. That's some of the few I could name with the armor buff from the HD remodels. So yeah, we could see a buff to the standard death vehicles left in the lineup. So here is the American Tech Tree, the high end side, and ones with the red X is standard death. So they're still in standard death and they don't have the HD remodels yet, but we could see a few armor buff or other buffs with these vehicles. So artillery is whatever. The T69, I want to see HD remodel of this tank. The T25-2, this is one of the most unpopular tanks in the game. So with the HD remodel, could we see a 105 millimeter on this tank? That would be pretty insane. So if it's the same 105 millimeter on the T25 AT, which is the same gun that's on the T29, that would be pretty crazy. And so we could see that, but we have to wait for the HD remodel of this tank. The Jackson still is, uh, yeah, whatever. So need a HD remodel. The Ram 2 is pretty good already. T14 is mediocre, whatever, it's okay. M6 is okay, whatever. So yeah, mostly the tank destroyer, especially the T25-2 and the T69. Here are the British. So as you can see, the AT series, the beginning AT series with the AT2, AT8, AT7, all are standard def. Same goes for the Churchill gun carrier. This is... <laughs> This could buff. This could be buffed. So this is a very mediocre tank. Tank destroyer. And these AT series. AT2 is alright in my standards. But the AT8 and the AT7. Uh, these are getting crap. Because the guns will penetrate. And they're slow. And the cupola is huge. And yeah. So these could get buffed. The TOG2. I would like to see a buff. But it's alright. Based on its current stats excelsior is gold spam so same goes for the t14 whatever but also the fe 25 b is one of the biggest you know offenders of standard death because they do not know wargaming does not know what to do with this tank do we give them the chieftain or do we give them the hd remodel of the fe 25 b yeah the fe 25 b does not really exist the only existence is the FE 25B183 without the Conqueror's turret. So it's a prototype version that does not really exist. So I want to see the Chieftain or I want to see the HD remodel, but mostly the Chieftain. So whatever. Here are the Chinese. So as you can see, the WZ 132, 120. Yeah, does need HD remodels. The 59 minus 16 which is 43, whatever, IS-2, 110, WZ-111, 14, yep, these all need HD remodels. But the main 
you know, culprit is the T34-2. This is super underpowered based on the power creep from previous or other tier 8 medium tanks. So tanks like the new T44-100 or tanks like the T54 prototype or the MUTs or the Pan KR, all premium tanks, or tanks like the normal, what's... The Pershing also gets buffed with the Penetration, Gun Depression, Centurion also gets buffed. So, power creeped. And the T-34-2 doesn't have the armor on the hull. The turret is alright, but the DPM is not as good. Accuracy is also not as good. Penetration is also not as good. So, yeah. I love this tank, but they really do need to buff it. Buff it a lot with the HD remodel. Give it the... A lot better 122 characteristic, similar to the T34-3. Here are the French, as you can see the S35CA, the ARL V39, all are standard F, especially this vehicle needs a heavy buff. The ARL doesn't have the gun arc. It has the gun, but the gun takes too long to aim, and the gun arc is super crap, so basically readjusting to a new target is a nightmare and you have to do it a lot so playing this tank is just disgusting so hopefully they buff the crap out of this thing because nobody plays it has one of the lowest win percent chance or win rate of any tier 6 I believe so ugh the BDR also eh whatever just a teapot of a tank also goes for the French artilleries so none of them has HD remodel and finally, the Batjet 25T. Surprisingly, very surprisingly, this is one of the most popular tier 10 mediums. Does not have a high definition model yet. So, okay. Here are the Germans. So, the toaster. Eh, toaster's alright. Sturdy mill. Yeah, the gun's very good, but they could use a little bit more rounds for the 128. It's only 12 rounds. For this gun so finding yourself to be lack of shells is a very big problem the vk 4502a is more of a medium tank so i want to see they adjust this thing out of the way because it does not play like a tiger 2 a vk 4502b or the mouse these tanks play like heavily armored vehicles heavily armored heavy tanks whereas the vk 4502a is more of a a medium tank, medium tank hunter or counter, but yeah, the Panther 2, very big, uh, yeah, doesn't have the accuracy or the penetration compared to tanks like the Panther. The Panther has good penetration for a tier 7 with the long barrel 75mm or the E50 accuracy, E50M, same, yeah, same accuracy, just better penetration, better mobility. Also, I would like to see some buffs to the Indian Panzer based on the aiming time. The aim time on the Indian Panzer is like 2.7 seconds or something. Just too long. Same goes for the VKs earlier. And the Panzer for small term. So, does need some buff for this thing, but... Oh well. Here are the Japanese. So, no STB-1, Type 61, STA-1, or the Cheeto. But, I would like, yeah, I would like to see a buff to the Type 61. Even though I doubt they would, because this thing has no ammo for the 105mm. It's only 32 rounds or something like that. So you quickly lose a lot of your shells because the dispersion and the accuracy is not as good. So spam too much, you don't have any ammo left. And this thing doesn't have the camouflage rating. It has worse camouflage than the E50 and it has no armor. And it looks like a tumor on the turret. So, yep. And that covers about it, I believe. So, oh, I forget. The Russians. <laughs> Russian bias, Sam. So, yeah. A lot more Russian tanks that do not have HD remodels. So, as you can see, there are a lot more red X's on this page. So, no objects. 268 and 263. So, this does need a heavy buff because it's so mediocre compared to the Object 704 and especially the ISU. Just 
why? So buff this thing, please. Nobody plays it. It was OP. Now, in a long time ago, in a land far away, this tank was one of the best, most OP tank destroyer for tier 10. That's like three or four years ago, but they nerfed the crap out of it. <laughs> so they, they nerfed the crap out of the 152 a lot. And they reduced the mobility, I believe. But yeah, it got neutered super hard. So buff this thing, please. The object 263 is... It's good, but it looks kind of bland. So buff it. The SU-101. So they recently buffed this thing with the... Uh, 122 they returned it but yeah just give it the hd remodel so now i want to talk about the su12254 it already has the hd remodel but it's still one of the worst underplayed tier 9 tank destroyer about to say medium tank tier 9 tank destroyer based on a medium tank because the penetration is low compared to other tier 9 tank destroyers and the alpha is also low with low DPM. So it's unlike the tortoise where it has low alpha but has a lot of DPM. The SU-12254 doesn't have the DPM or the penetration. So it's a camouflaged, sneaky sniper tank destroyer. But it's yeah, it's underpowered compared to stuff like the tortoise, the Waffentragers, or the Yak Tiger. Yeah. It's alright, I mean, it's not that surprisingly good. And the rest is the medium tanks, so no KV-13. Objects 416, 430, version 2, the A44. And that doesn't really need a buff, but the T-44 underpowered. So based on, yeah, based on power creep, a lot of power creep. Surprisingly, no HD remodel of the object 140. It's very surprisingly. Waiting for the buff for the KV-4, maybe the STI, because they buffed the KV-3 for some reason. It doesn't need one, but they buff it. So we could see a buff to the T-150, but it doesn't need one. KV-2, nah, it doesn't need it. And rest are artilleries. So there you go, folks. All the vehicles that are in standard def, and they could receive a HD remodel buff, similar to the Panther 2. So there you go folks, the Pinocchio gun for the Panther 2 is coming soon. And likely a lot of the buffs for the standard death vehicles left in the game. So hopefully they buff a few of these vehicles because stuff like the T-34-2 is super underpowered in my standards because guns low penetration, low alpha, mediocre, DPM, uh, accuracy is crap, aim time is crap. <laughs> Oh god, the dispersion is crap, view range is crap, does have decent camouflage or somewhat better mobility, but just, oh god, this thing does need a heavy buff. And that's for the good 100mm. Let's not, yeah, let's not look at the 122, just, oh, 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 oh. yeah, so hopefully we do see some buffs for the standard death vehicles left in the game, so... Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.